Hi, I'm Antoine and this is my partner Hugo. On our channel, the Booktube Area, today we will present to you the incredible story of Full Metal Alchemist. Full Metal Alchemist was drawn and written for the first time in 2001 by Hiromu Arakawa and published by Viz Media for the English version and Kurokawa for the French one. The story takes place in the country of Amistris, which is ravaged by the abuse of alchemy. Where alchemy reigns as a mainstream science, and so it takes an important place in the story. We can follow the adventure of Elric Edward with the full metal alchemist and the youngest alchemist in the country, and his little brother Elric Alphonse. They run around Amestris together to search for the mythical philosopher's stone, which is needed to give back Alphonse's body, who is a soul sealed in a metal armor. Alphonse lost his body in a prohibited experience in an attempt uh, to revive his mother. I have chosen this novel because it contains an original story. The young readers can recognize themselves in the two brothers. Full Metal Alchemist mixes difficulties of reality and fiction, like their mother who died and their father who left the home. It's easy to read the book uh, thanks to the picture and the shortness. I really like this story because it's not common for books to speak about alchemy. It is easy to understand since the language is familiar. The author added funny moments so the book isn't too sad and boring. I think the author wants to show that doing prohibited things is dangerous for us and for the environment, like Edward who lost his arm and Alphonse who lost his body. He encourages us to make our opinion uh, of the life and not only obey to the government, like Edward who is called a slave of Amistris. Alphonse is a serious character and like Edward who is more crazier f and funnier. I loved the fight with the lion because that's where we see how strong Edward is. I hated the priest who is totally corrupt and who abuses the trust of God fearing. But it shows that even an important man can have bad intention. The drawings are really cool and precise. The settings are beautiful. At the end of the book we can see the flame alchemist. It builds a suspense. I like the contrast between Alphonse who looks strong, tall and Edward who looks weak and small, while it is actually the opposite. The manga is a masterpiece in my opinion. Full Metal Alchemist cost $6.60, so it is affordable and adults can read it like kid. In conclusion, this book deserves his reputation. I think Full Metal Alchemist is a masterpiece worthy of its success and of the keen interest that it, that it raised because the stories speak about an original subject which is interesting to develop. The plot must be funny to read for two brothers. They should be identified to the main character. It's a situation where the big brother will give all for his little brother even if they left their mom and their father. The story is very grouping with its universal with a lot of magic and achievement. The fact that it plays an important role brings some things are very cool and special. The suspense is well managed, the action is introduced at the right moment and the alternation of, of fight and dialogue in fight scene is well organized. However, there is a negative point. The fight scene are too easy. There is not really challenge and the main character wins really too fast the fight. That's a shame because it takes away some of the manga's pups and has the outcome come too quickly. We don't have the time to be totally caught up in the story. I don't want to spoil anything but I really like the first battle because it talks about a subject that I love. Let me explain this to you. Basically, a priest uses the power of alchemy to do basic tricks. But these basic tricks can be impressive for people who don't know about science. However, this priest passes them of a divine miracle of their god. He passes for a 
messenger of God and use the people's good ability in order to collect the offering dedicated to the God and live in the luxury and be rich. The main character, Edvard, and his little brother come for the first time to this land and discover the deception. He is the best alchemist in his generation and country and decided to go see the priest in order to understand why he does this and why he lied to the habitant. The scene ends logically with a fight between full metal alchemist and the priest. The alchemist wins. I like this scene because it talks about manipulation and get around. I'm just disappointed that Edouard Elric spoiled the suspense by announcing right away who Full Metal Alchemist really is. In my opinion, he should have right for a better moment to say this and not say it randomly. Thanks for listening to us.